We always take our body for granted. My last few words, this is the gist of the whole class. We always take our body, body for granted and exploit more than what it can do. Instead of feeling grateful towards it, we start exploiting the body. And if you feel grateful towards the body, the intelligence of the body will be more active and more alive. You go and pray to so many gods, so many goddesses, to so many deities, to so many gurus. But you never keep a friendly attitude with your body. That is a beautiful technique in Tantra. They pray to their own body. They feel they give their gratitude to their own body and they pray to their body. When I read about that early, first, first time, I was surprised, how can this help? But when I practiced myself, when I consciously scanned, I understood. First thing, your body intelligence gets awakened. Next thing, your inner consciousness starts respecting your bio-intelligence, your body intelligence. Now, as for now, your inner consciousness never respects the body's intelligence. You never believe body has got its own intelligence. Just understand one thing. If one piece of bread, if it has to be converted into blood mechanically, you need an industry which runs three kilometer distance. If you have to do mechanically, you need an industry which runs three kilometer distance. But in this six feet, it is continuously happening. Continuously it is happening, day in and day out, not even one day strike. Continuously, the bread is getting converted into blood and doctors say, the process which happens through your mind, inside your brain, if that has to be done through computer, you need a computer which is at least 10 times bigger than a normal house. 10 times bigger than a normal house. The sound which will be created by the computer will be equivalent to the sound of one city. One city. What is the sound? One city creates. That much sound will be produced. But in such a small place, Practically with no sound, the whole mechanism goes on. Your body is not a matter as you think. It is an energy. It is an intelligence. According to me, it is a temple of consciousness. So, before going to hundreds of temples, hundreds of gurus, start feeling grateful to your body for accommodating your being on this planet earth and start praying to your body to be more happy and to guide you more clearly in the path of sadhana. You may feel strange because always you only look down upon your body. Always you have disrespected your body. And the so-called spiritual people also continuously teach you to condemn your body. Condemning the body only makes you schizophrenia. It's like you try to pull your own shoes and you try to fly. Can you fly by pulling your shoes? You can only fall. So feeling grateful to your body is the ultimate devotion. Praying to your body is the ultimate prayer because consciousness is Atman, consciousness is God. Which is the object available to you, which is nearest, very close to the consciousness? Your body is the only object which is available to you, which is very close to consciousness. The deity in the temple is also close to consciousness, but your body is much closer. 
to consciousness than the deity in the temple. So your body is more worthy, your body is more sacred, your body is more divine than any other god or any other temple on this planet earth. One important thing you need, thing you need to understand. Why we disrespect the body? First thing, we have the idea about beauty. We always have some model in our mind. So we try to become that model. When you have somebody as a model, you don't have a deep respect or love for your body. You don't feel comfortable with your body as long as you have some model. You try to become that model. You try to do makeup or you try to behave or you try to live like that model person. As long as you have model, you will not be happy unto yourself. You are beautiful to yourself. Why should you bother? Why should you care for some other model? If he is beautiful or is, if she is beautiful, it is for him, not for you. Your body is the closest mechanism available to you. Even if he is beautiful or she is beautiful, it is his body. It's not your body. Why, are, why should you have hatred to your body by getting attracted to that body? Most of the time, when you feel attracted to some model, you start hating your body. You also want the same kind of body. You also want same type of body. So naturally, you create tension in your body. From the young age, you are taught to become like somebody. You are given so many fantasies, so many ideas. You should look like this person, you should look like that person. This is the idea of beauty, that is the idea of beauty. The ideas about beauty enters into your mind and you start disrespecting your body. You start misbehaving with your body. The moment you think, you feel somebody else is beautiful, you want to become like him or like her. Avoid and drop the ideas somebody is beautiful and somebody is not. You are enough unto yourself. You are enough unto yourself. You are beautiful for yourself. Why should you bother somebody else's beauty? Why should you bother about somebody else's body? First thing, feel totally homely with your body. Feel totally relaxed with your body. Start feeling grateful to your body for giving you so many types of pleasures. It has given you so many different kinds of pleasures. Pleasure of tongue, pleasure of smell, pleasure of eyes, pleasure of hearing, pleasure of sex. So many pleasures are given to you because of your body. Your body gives you so many kinds of pleasures to you. You must feel grateful to your body intensely because it helps you and it shows you, it gives you so many pleasures. Next thing, pray intensely to your body to guide you, to lead you to Nityananda state, to help you keep more healthy, to help you more happy, ultimately to help you totally be in bliss. One more thing, your body listens to your prayers, understand. I have seen so many times, I tell people, if you are having knee pain, just pray to your knee, please get healed, please heal yourself. If you have neck pain, pray to your neck, you will see the result. Immediately your consciousness for doing some work, doing his work on your knees, on your neck, on your body and giving the result. So understand, feeling grateful to your body is devotion. Feeling, having prayerful attitude to your body 
is religion. Let these two become your basic understanding from this course. You will see your body expresses experience, experiences and expresses the bliss which we call eternal bliss. Let you realize and reach the eternal bliss. Nityananda. Thank you.